To start this project, you'll need your large piece of white paper and a black oil pastel to start. Then for the second part, you'll need your printing plate and markers. To begin, we will start with drawing a large rectangle that fills up a good amount of the space of your paper. We'll continue with a curved line for the arms that curves around and down and back towards the rectangle. You do that on both sides. Then we'll create another smaller rectangle and then I chose a circle shape for the hands. Next, we'll create the legs with another smaller rectangle going vertical. And then I chose to use a triangle for the feet. You could add some details on the legs if you'd like with some pattern lines. Continue up to the neck with another small thin rectangle and then creating a larger rectangle above that. You can add some antennae if you would like. Then we'll take a circle shape and create eyes, another rectangle for the mouth, and then some shapes of your choice for your robot's buttons. For the next step for the print making part of our project, you will need your round printing plate and some water soluble markers. So the Crayola markers will work great. Use your markers to create a pattern of concentric circles with varying colors. You can choose to use warm colors or cool colors or a mix of both. Just make sure you have your full plate filled with color before we move to the next step. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna take a water bottle and spray onto the paper with our robot, place our printing plate on top, and we will see the transfer of ink to our paper as we print the color on top of our robot design. Clean up your area. If you accidentally get some paint on the table, that's okay. Just wipe it up as fast as possible. Don't forget to sign your work. <laughs> 